Welcome to Sugubo Tutorials. We are going to see how to make slope maps. Slope mapping is an important aspect in terrain analysis. Slope is used to identify landforms. Slope map is used for landslide prone areas. Slope map is needed for watershed management. Slope map is needed for agriculture development. Slope map is needed for transportation planning. Slope map is needed for urban planning. Slope map is needed for studying urban flooding. Slope map is needed for laying stormwater drainage and sewage water drainage pipelines. Just now I opened my SRTM data. Earlier you have seen a small portion. I just extended my portion up to Neil Grease. Now I am going to tell you how to make slope map from SRTM data. How to classify it. To make a slope map, you have to load your SRTM data. You have to open your SRTM data using add raster layer. I added here, raster layer is here. So you have to verify, go to properties, source, it is mentioned WGS World Mercator, it is in meters, you have to ensure it is in meters. Now I have to, first of all I have to fill this data, without filling also you can do it, some errors will come, so you have to go and then fill this data. Last time value method I told you, now I am just going here, raster, analysis, fill node data. Automatically Nilgri, Kwayamathur, SRTM loaded, just run it. So it has done the fill data is over, I just close it. Remove it, the original one, the field data I am keeping it. If you want to change the field data, it is a temporary. You can just make it permanent. Before making permanent, you can also change the, it is in EPSG 3395. See, it is in Mercator projection. World Mercator. So you have to convert it into UTM. So you go here, Raster, Projections, Warp Reprojection. So the field data has come here, input layer. Then you have to say the source. Source is a Mercator. Then you have to target is Nilgri, that is WGS84, UTM zone 44, I have given, just I am giving command run, so it is reprojected. So this also make it invisible, go to properties, now it is converted into UTM zone 44. Information, it is, it is in meters, unit in meters. So this you have to keep it for your exercise. So I just remove this one. So this is temporary layer. I have to make it permanent. Right click it, export it, save as it's already GeoTIFF is their format. I create a new folder slope slope video field SRTM of Nilgri and Coimbatore, short form I have given, I am saving it here, 
ok it is saved so I just this also temporary layer I remove it see when you move the cursor it is all in meters now I have to create a slope map I have to go to raster analysis there you got the last third one from the bottom third one slope your SRTM loaded automatically input layer leave everything as it is if you want in percentage you have to tick this and then you can get the slope in percentage default is degrees run close now you got slope map of Coimbatore and Nilgiri area it is varying from 0 degree to 71 degree so you have to reclassify it just I make it invisible I have to classify it what I should do I have to go to processing In the processing I have to select toolbox I have to reclassify so the reclassify has come here reclassify by table you have to choose this last analysis now you automatically the slope map has been loaded and then band is only one and then you go to this one that is a reclassification table you have to classify it add row that is 0 to 5 one class another class 5 to 10 second class I add another row 10 to 15 this is the third category then 15 to 20 fourth category then 20 to 71.2 71.2 this is a fifth class I made it it will take more time for conversion so I have made five classes save ok run it now you got reclassified slope map I make it in color properties symbology go to pseudo color in the color ramp you have to convert it because low slope light color high slope darker color that is red apply say okay now now you see the slope map in this slope map this reclassified colored so the first color is 0 to 5 see for example I, I, I put it here so this is the first category 0 to 5 then zoom this see second category and this is red color this is a fifth category that is 20 to 71 degrees so it has been classified we have to convert it into vector file for which we have to go to raster conversion polygonized to raster to vector so the reclassified raster file has been loaded dn values there that is a five classes simply run it so it is processing takes place it will take long time once it is over we will see to it now we have got classified slope map in vector format now you go to right click it let us go to properties symbology 
here you have to go to categorized because we have made five classification we made vector format go to categorized go to dn value that is five classes that is a dn value then classify it so five classes are there these are the things not needed you can just remove it some additional information has come you just remove it similarly this also you can just remove it so we got five slope categories apply save okay at the bottom you have the reclassified slope map on the top you have a vector map since it's a very big file it takes time to load and then show the entire map now you can just make it invisible bottom one reclassified slope map then you go to see so you got five categories of slope if you want you can change the colors double click on the color you can give green color then second one you can just double click it you can just give yellow color say okay then you can third category you can make orange color okay then you can make red color say okay and then fifth category double click it make it dark brown color bottom reclassified you make it invisible because it's a big file since it is covering Coimbatore and Nilgiri district it takes time if you take a smaller area quickly it will load So the DN values categories are shown in this and then if you want to make a area you can create a field and then you can just calculate the area in square meter and square kilometer. So just I make it invisible bottom layer. Now you see the slope categories. I just zoom it. these are all 0 to 5 degree then yellow color is 5 to 10 degree then you got uh, 10 to 20 15 then 15 to 20 and then the brown colors are the fifth category the reason for conversion of vector is you can find out the area suppose you wanted to find out only the fifth category that is a steep slope area 20 to 71 degree you can just go to the attribute table you can go to the selection tool in the attribute table you can select the fifth category alone then you can highlight it save it separately that is the area prone for landslide it is a plateau margin area 
so that way you can just make a analysis for each class hope this video is very interesting for you if it is interesting please like it subscribe it click the bell share it with your friends if you have any comments please add it thank you so much